Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0117 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P0117 code? Well, it's the engine coolant temperature sensor one circuit low. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses the engine coolant temperature sensor or sensors, there could be more than one, to read what the temperature of the engine is. And one of these sensors is reporting an issue. So the onboard computer is just reporting this. And what are some possible causes? Well, it could be the bad engine coolant temperature sensor. It could be in the wiring or a bad connection. And there could be air pockets in the coolant system. And this is mainly if the system was recently worked on. And so if the system was recently worked on, like somebody changed out a, a thermostat, a water pump, or they flushed the, the whole coolant system and you're getting this, and it's very likely got air inside of the system. And that's a simple fix. If the system wasn't worked on recently, then it's very likely not the problem. But if the cooling system was recently worked on, then check out some videos on how to bleed the cooling system to get all the air pockets out. There's some YouTube videos on that. But if the system wasn't worked on and you're getting this error code, then very likely there's going to be a problem with one of the engine coolant temperature sensors. And there could be multiple ones inside of a Honda. Depending on the year and the engine type, there could be one, two, or even four engine coolant temperature sensors. Older vehicles would usually have one, and two is pretty common. They'll have one up on the engine and one down at the bottom of the radiator. Some newer Hondas can have four where they could have one on the engine, one on the thermostat, one where the water leaves the radiator, and one at the intake of the radiator. So there, there can be up to four. Quite common is that there's two of them now. And so like here, this 2010 1.8 liter Honda Civic, you'd have one on the engine and you'd have one down at the bottom of the radiator. And so first thing to do is to Google a diagram or find out the location of the engine coolant temperature sensors on your particular Honda and where they're all located. And after you locate the engine coolant temperature sensors, check out all the wiring. Be sure the wiring all looks good. Be sure it's plugged in because bad wiring can cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that wiring's all good, no open shorts, anything like this. All the pins are good in the harness and that that's all good because bad wiring can cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. And once you know all the wiring's all good, then very likely it will be time to change out that sensor. And they're just low cost parts. I'll jump over on Amazon and give you how much idea they're costing right now. They're ranging around 28, 37. They're like 20, 30, 40 bucks. There's one for 50. They're not super high cost parts or anything like this. And so at this point, very likely it's gonna be time to swap one of these out. Uh, they simply uh, screw out and the new ones screw in. It, when they're located at the top of the engine like this, you don't have to drain the fluid, but it, if they're located down lower or if they're located at the bottom of the radiator, you will have to drain the fluid. They're pretty easy to do as long as there's nothing in the way. If there's something in the way, then they can be difficult. And basically you screw them back in and you can put a little bit of sealant around them so that they don't leak. But it's a pretty straightforward job. But that would be the next thing to do would be to go ahead and swap out the sensors. And so what do you do if you have a Honda with the P0117 code? Well, first thing is check the fluid levels. Be sure the fluid level is good. If it is low on fluid, then there might be a leak somewhere. So you, you want to check that out. Be sure that there's no issues going on, like a leak or something like that, damaged components or anything. If the system was recently worked on, if you had the coolant flush, somebody changed out a water pump or a thermostat, then it may have air pockets in the system, and, which is an easy fix. There's some YouTube videos on that if you want to check that out. But if the fluid's all good and the, and the cooling system hasn't been worked on recently, then very likely it's going to be a problem with one of these engine coolant temperature sensors. So you're going to need to Google them because there can be some variations on how many sensors there is and their location depending on the engine type. And it's fairly common that there's one on the engine and there's one on the radiator. Although there can be a single one, and in some cases there could be multiple ones. You're gonna to wanna to check out the wiring really well, but be sure there's no issues with that because bad wiring can cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. And if that all looks good, then just go ahead and swap out the sensors and that should solve the problem. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Honda with a P0117 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.